Hello dear tea friends from around the world and welcome to a new video with me Stéphane Erler from the Tea Masters blog and the Tea Masters boutique. And uh, for today I'm not calling it uh, really a, a tea class. I uh, hope that you are still going to to learn something, but um since a lot of uh, things have happened since uh, the end of June since uh, uh um, before the summer vacation, I also wanted to give you some update on uh, some news, uh, some important news on uh, the website and uh, also on the shipping and maybe also my latest products and my latest teas. So this might not be exactly a tea class, but uh, if you are interested in uh, my products, my selection and uh, how to order tea from Taiwan, you might find this uh, video actually quite interesting. So maybe let's first um, start with deliveries because uh, deliveries have been a major issue uh, in uh, recent uh, uh, months since the COVID hit. There are many uh, countries that have stopped accepting uh, packages from Taiwan. Now some are getting back to accepting them again. And I wanted to give you this actually the, the list I uh, I'm looking at every, uh, almost every day on uh, the uh, Taiwanese um, uh, web server of the post office and uh, it tells us that right now there are just 36 countries in the world where I can ship from Taiwan. Uh, none in um, Africa, none in um, South America and none in Central America either. Luckily, uh, USA, Canada is okay. In the Pacific, we have Australia and New Zealand. And in uh, Asia, we have uh, actually many countries like uh, China, Japan, Korea, Vietnam, Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, Hong Kong, Macau, the Philippines, India, and Turkey. These are the, the major ones. And for Europe, the countries where it's possible to ship um, are France, Netherlands, Germany, Belgium, Switzerland, Sweden, the Czech Republic, Poland, Denmark, Norway, um, Italy, Spain, England, Russia, Austria, and the Slovak Republic. Uh, for some, maybe not all the services are uh, available. Sometimes it's only airmail or only EMS. Uh, only small packages, so uh, there might be some restrictions, but actually, but at least to these countries, it is possible to make shipments with uh, the regular post office. With um, uh, because with the DHL or FedEx, the shipping costs are really way too expensive. And I must say actually that uh, shipping costs have risen for most of these countries. Uh, because uh, if you are aware uh, of uh, one, there are with uh, the COVID, there are fewer planes with passengers, and therefore this has increased the uh, shipping costs for um, most um, shipping companies. The price of uh, gas is also going back up now, and uh, so there are really major uh, uh, increase of costs in the shipping. And uh, this led me to increase the price on uh, for the American um, side, especially on um, EMS. Uh, if you ordered be, uh, below 200 US dollars, but uh, I've con I'm continuing to make my shipping free above 100, 100 US dollars and uh, 200 for EMS. Um, so this is uh, the first news. It's getting a little bit better, but uh, with some uh, COVID maybe coming back in um, uh, fall, uh, my, maybe uh, some restrictions will be put uh, on again. And uh, if you want to make a, uh, an order before the end of the year, you might uh, consider this that uh, restrictions might be imposed again and uh, make your orders a, a bit early. Okay, otherwise we have some uh, uh, interesting new products uh, since uh, last June. I wanted to, to show you and maybe we can start with uh, this chicken cup. 
uh, it's a reproduction from the very famous uh, chicken cup uh, that was uh, in, first made in the Ming Dynasty in the Chenghua. And uh, so the symbolism for the chicken is, and the chicken family uh, is, uh, is a symbolism for, for family, for family bliss. And it's, uh, it was a very, one of the very first uh, uh, cups with um, uh, lots of colors, lots of different colors. And this also adds a sense of uh, happiness. Uh, that uh, other cups uh, did not have before. And uh, this uh, reproduction is uh, pretty well made, and I'm even going to, to use it today. Um, I've also added uh, several um, Qinghua porcelain. Uh, one is uh, this Gaiwan. Actually, it's the very last uh, Qinghua Gaiwan from um, this maker in Taiwan. Uh, and uh, so it's and uh, what is also interesting is that it's hand painted so this adds um, uh, a more personal touch to know that uh, it's hand painted uh, instead of being um, right now they are using uh, a finished paint and then they're just uh, copying it on the um, on the porcelain but this is still the more traditional way of making uh, Qinghua porcelain by painting it by hand. And this is actually the reason why this kind of uh, guy one from Taiwan, uh, uh, this Qinghua is now uh, going kind of extinct because the costs of uh, painting has gone up in uh, since the last 20 years, uh, since this was first made. And um, also, because it was already more expensive than uh, a plain Gaiwan, the sales were not so brisk and uh, the people had to be let uh, let go. And uh, therefore now we don't have the skills in uh, Taiwan anymore uh, to make um, similar Gaiwans, at least at this price level maybe at a much uh, higher price levels now, uh, right now. So I've, uh, I've used this opportunity since these are now the, uh, usually people introduce the, the newest products. <laughs> I'm actually here it's, I'm, I'm introducing the product just before it's going to, um, uh, to get sold out. So we also have this, um, uh, Lotus Qinghua that, uh, you can see also on the, um, on the website, uh, I've put and uh, and also a multicolor uh, uh, lotus flower a teapot. These are uh, average sizes, and we have also one with um, uh, shan shui, a landscape, a beautiful landscape. Uh, if you feel like um, uh, traveling in your mind, in your in your thoughts. This is also a good possibility. And this landscape teapot also exists in a very large size, which can be useful for uh, larger gatherings uh, or in the morning if you don't want to make um, uh, gong fu cha. This uh, very large teapot can also do the, the trick and it's quite elegant with this uh, Qinghua landscape and these uh, uh, lots of uh, birds in the, in the sky. Quite nice. And uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, of course, one of the items that I really like to put under these um, uh, accessories is uh, Chabu. And I've made three new ones that I've added uh, recently here. A flower, uh, purple flower Chabu. And Another Chabu, and I can tell you uh, something I don't mention on uh, the, actually it's upside down, something I don't mention uh, on the website, actually they are made by my wife, uh, who is helping with the sewing and uh, with choosing and assembling the, um, uh, the patterns, uh, so she's quite gifted and uh, helping me uh, on this side, so I thank her very much for her creativity and uh, I hope that you are enjoying having a um, uh, chabu under your um, uh, 
uh, porcelain it helps to protect it helps that, that, that to make it uh, uh, more silent that it does not make too much noise and it also uh, there's an additional layer in between so it will also absorb some of the water drops or tea drops that fall down when you prepare your tea and uh, uh, each chabu with its different pattern will also add uh, a sense of uh, beauty and uh, a particular atmosphere depending on the colors uh, and make your each tea a bit uh, different okay and okay last but not least i have um, three new teas i also wanted to tell you about uh, maybe the most recent one i just received is up this one it's um, my summer 2021 oriental beauty from Sinju as a tradition and um, I must say this year it is uh, really uh, we are lucky um, I was reporting we had a very very um, tough drought in uh, Taiwan in this uh, spring. Uh, water reservoirs were um, very low. Uh, even uh, water rationing had to be put in place in uh, the central part of Taiwan. So water supplies were very short and the weather was uh, completely dry, uh, which is actually uh, very unusual because in the months of uh, May, June, uh, in Chinese, it's called Meiyu season, the plum rain season. Uh, why plum rain? Because the uh, raindrops are so uh, large that they look like plums. And uh, but this year, the this um, rainy season came much later. Actually, only after the after the harvests of um, oriental beauty and therefore it was really very very dry when uh, the um, uh, farmers harvested uh, oriental beauty and uh, this dryness has uh, helped to increase um, the fragrances also the, the drier the leaves are when you pick them up the less work you have to turn them into dry leaves because they are not uh, the moisture content is very low and therefore this, it requires less processing and especially less drying and, or less roasting. So this makes um, um, the fragrances this year really particularly bright and uh, it's really um, uh, a good year uh, as one would say for wine, also for tea. Uh, some years uh, are better than others and uh, for oriental beauty this is really the case because it's a tea that is not so afraid of uh, warmth because it's a uh, high uh, oxidation uh, so un a bit unlike um, uh, high mountain oolongs where the results were uh, a bit mixed but for oriental beauty really it was only a benefit uh, for this year to be so warm and to be so dry so, and it's uh, at um, $10 for 25 grams, it's really uh, a bargain. I wholly, uh, really wholeheartedly recommend it. Uh, another tea I found this year is um, uh, Dongding Competition Oolong. Actually, it's a leftover from um, uh, the competition. The farmers are a bit limited to how much uh, tea they can present. Usually they prepare more and um, the excess then they can sell by saying, okay, you see it's uh, the same as uh, the competition one and uh, they, can, uh, they can still sell this um, tea for, uh, for the same price or sometimes a bit less than the competition price. Okay, you see there are no stems, uh, it's very uh, similar roast, uh, strong roast, 
uh, for the competition and uh, the, uh, the farmer here uh, he has his um, uh, farms and plantations mostly in Shaninshi and um, what is interesting is uh, that uh, less than 10 years ago he won this uh, Dongding competition with the first prize so he's really very good at uh, Roasting. I tried several of his um, uh, oolongs that were uh, roasted. I thought that this one is uh, the one that uh, I liked most and that was uh, closest to what I was looking for also in terms of um, roast that is not too strong. Uh, I don't like it when it's burnt. And the good news is that um, uh, compared to the other uh, similar Hongshu Oolong from Shanlin Shi, this one is uh, uh, cheaper, $11 instead of uh, the other one is $15. Uh, the other one is still very, very good, uh, but it was um, given to somebody else for roasting uh, who charged for his skill. Whereas the advantage with this guy is that he's doing his roast himself and um, probably that's why it uh, could be much, uh, I think, uh, much cheaper. And therefore, I think it's, uh, again, a very, very good bargain for this spring's um, Dongding uh, Oolong competition. Uh, and it's a uh, Qingxing Oolong, so it's really the highest quality possible uh, in Taiwan. Uh, if you are not... Uh, Picking the, the the competition winners, of course. Yep. Let me put it back, and we have one last tea that I wanted to say a few words. Also, it's the um, Shaninshi concubine oolong from uh, uh, from this year. It's available. It was. Uh, harvested on um, May the 9th on uh, Mother's Day, so it's easy to, uh, to remember. Again, this year, uh, thanks to the drought, um, it, wa uh, it was quite dry, and therefore maybe the uh, how you say the roasting is a little bit uh, lighter than uh, than before. Uh, oxidation is uh, is high, so it's very fruity. Uh, and um, this um, on this plantation, uh, why is it a bit more expensive? It's because the the management is uh, doing a, a great job at um, keeping uh, uh, pesticides and uh, also fertilizers to a minimum, and uh, therefore the taste is really very very clean. And uh, for um, and this is also a, a plus, an advantage when you are making uh, concubine oolong because you want the TG acids to come and uh, bite the leaves and this adds then this special honey fragrance that uh, you find in this tea and also in the oriental beauty that uh, I've introduced before. Okay, I propose that uh, I drink one of these uh, teas with you, please. Uh, I have not seen any comment yet. If you wish that uh, I try, that I taste one uh, of these teas in particular, I will do so. Uh, since it's already past time, I'm saying goodbye to people who are on um, YouTube. See you next week.